Alrighty, I'm going to show you guys how to install Docker on, or actually I'm going to pie-hole on Docker. This is the weather.com website. You can see there's a few ads. I love Netgear, but I hate ads. They take up space. They're clunky. They're ugly. Um, some of them are just weird. Some of them lead to malicious pages. So, yeah. First thing to get out of the way, you do want to do this on a machine that has a static IP address. Um, and to verify that you have a static IP address, you want to go to your router settings. Now, all routers are a little bit different. Um, on Netgear, they call it address reservation. I just happen to use a Netgear router. So I will go to my settings. It's under uh, advanced. I don't know why I clicked basic. It's under advanced uh, setup and then WAN. Once this loads, you can scroll all the way down to see the address reservation. I have quite a few static devices on my network. You will click add, then you can select from your list of connected devices that are not already static. Well, you can assign a random IP or you can use the one that it already has. Using the one that it already has is great because then you don't have to go over to the machine and refresh the connection you're going to go ahead and click add and then you'll see it on the list boom now let's go over to docker and get this installation going okay so we're in docker we're going to go ahead and click search at the top of the window and then we will go ahead and type Pi hole forward slash pie hole. I don't know why my keyboard's not connecting. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Then go ahead and click images because you're searching for the pie hole image itself. You're going to click pull, which is downloading it to your Docker. Once that downloads, you'll go ahead and click images on the left side of your Docker window. Go ahead and click run. Optional settings. This is very important. Container name, not so important because that doesn't matter unless you had a million docker installations going um host port you're going to do 53 for tcp followed by 53 followed by uh 67 and i meant udp not tcp tcp will be port 80. path it's going to open the window for me you can't really see it in this uh screen go ahead and select the folder to store your logs and whatnot too then you're going to go ahead and click run Now, once it completes, you'll see this timestamp at the bottom. There, it's done. So we're going to go ahead and scroll up to get our randomized admin password. And you can actually highlight just the password and hit Control-C to copy it. Even though like the Docker window acts weird when you move your mouse around and it goes down to the bottom. It's still copied. And um, you can actually, if you wanted to click the copy button on the upper right corner of the Docker window right there, but it will copy the whole log and then you just expect the password that way. Um, not a big deal if, unless you're interested in seeing everything that's happened and keeping that. But just the password is sufficient enough. Then we'll go ahead and click on the left side under containers. And you can see our running container of PyHole. And then we will click on the 8080, which will launch our local host in Firefox. And as it pops up, we will go ahead and click admin panel. And we will control V to paste our password. We will log in. We'll go to the left side and click settings and then go up to the top bar and click DNS. Now for our DNS servers on the back end, which our pie hole will be referring to, to build logs and whatnot, and the DNS uh, table. You can use Google. Google's great for mainstream websites. You'll get a really quick response. Um, then what you're gonna do is go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page. You can choose from any of these DNS servers, or you can input your own on the right side. You can see custom.
but we're gonna go ahead and click save. And then once we do that, we gotta go over to our router settings. And we will go over to advanced for Netgear and we will click setup and then internet setup. I don't know why I'm having issues. Scroll down to where we get DNS. And we're going to click use custom DNS. And we're going to input our Docker machine IP address. And I'm actually going to do my own machine on both lines, including for my secondary, just to prove that even if it didn't connect, there is no backup. So you can't say I was faking it or whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click apply after that. And the router will go ahead and reboot. All right. Once the router has rebooted, we will go ahead and go back to the weather page and give it a quick refresh. And you will notice all the ads have went away. There's a few ads on the right column, but those are all linked to the weather.com. As you can see on the bottom left corner, um, that's the subscription for their premium. So you get no ads or you can do what I did and for free get no ads. Um, the feature deal is also a subscription based, not a subscription, a sponsorship ad. As you can see, it says weather.com, but if you click on it, it tries to reroute through an ad server, tabula.com, whatever. The DNS is obviously blacklisted by our DNS server, so it won't load, which is great because we don't want it to load. And I was going to go ahead and do Twitter. Um, Twitter videos do not get ads on them either now, which is great. But there was some inappropriate stuff on the timeline for some reason. I'll just go ahead. You know what? Just keep scrolling. Let's do it. I saw something earlier that was inappropriate. Yep, there it is. Okay, we'll just blur it out. And as you can see, there are no ads on any of the videos. They're instantly playing. Um, this is great. I haven't checked it on a mobile device. I'm actually going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, we're opening Twitter mobile, and I'm going to go ahead and click search, and we're going to open the search tab. I'm going to search for Marquez Brownlee, just because I know a lot of his videos have ads on them um, at the beginning and whatnot, things that are uncontrollable ads that you can't, I mean, not uncontrollable, uh, that seem uncontrollable, but it turns out that they just uh, inject the ad URL right before the video, and that actually gets blocked. So the videos instantly play. I remember a few of these specifically having ads, this one right here specifically. <clears throat> um, but it's great to see that it does not. 